What does makeup mean to you? For some people is makeup a way to look prettier, more representable in the society. But for me, it's about survival. It might sound dramatic, but let me explain. Before I start, I want to tell you that this is a collab between me and my friend Georgia over at BlaBlaMUA on Instagram. We both realized that we view makeup as a form of therapy and decided to share our perspective on it. I can't wait to hear what she will say about this topic because it's such an important discussion to open up about. As you probably can tell, I'm creating a look while I'm talking about this important topic because it brings me so much joy to do makeup. To give you a concrete example, let's imagine that I have a very bad day when I feel like everything is meaningless and hopeless and I can't see anything positive about my day. And just by taking a look at all the colorful, bright and sparkly makeup that I own, I instantly feel more happy and satisfied with my life. And you might think, oh man, she's so crazy, but it's actually a psychological explanation about this that I will talk about a little bit later on in this video. And of course it haven't always been like this, but my life totally changed when I started to appreciate the small things in life. New clean bed sheets, newly washed hair, a cup of coffee, and seeing a beautiful sunset. I learned to appreciate those small things that most of us usually take for granted. And it makes me feel so much happier and satisfied with myself and my life. My relationship with makeup started at a young age. It didn't take me long to understand that makeup would be the friend that never would leave me or let me down. With the power of colorful dust, I could get the confidence I needed to fulfill my goals in life. And it's not as you might think, that makeup made me feel prettier and boosted my confidence. Of course it does to some extent, but that's not the point of this video. I still feel pretty without makeup, and I don't feel the need to use it. It's just that the colorful me represents me better. At this point I would even go as far to say that makeup is my lifestyle. It helps me to express my personality and identity that clothes or other things can't help me with. Whenever I come up with a unique eyeshadow designs, it makes me feel powerful. It makes me think that if I can do this, I can also do other hard things in life. And it doesn't have to be makeup related things. It could basically be anything in life. Makeup makes me powerful and makes me believe in myself, no matter what it is about. Some of you might not understand what I'm talking about, and that's okay. Hopefully you also have a passion in life that makes you feel like this. Because whenever I apply my makeup, it allows me to express my feelings that I can't put words into. And since makeup is something I'm always looking forward to do, it motivates me to get out of the bed and do my daily tasks. The days when I skip doing my makeup, I can instantly notice that I'm not in my best mood. Because when living in a stressful environment with constant contact with other people, I need that quiet moment for myself. At least once a day. When I apply the makeup, I can just have a moment for myself and reflect over life and it really calms me down. Because I know that as soon as I put down the brush on the table, the reality is waiting for me. Another important point is that when I have the brushes in my hands, I'm my own boss. It's me and only me who have control over the situation. It gives me an empowering feeling that afterwards applies to my daily tasks. Something I really want to address is that makeup therapy isn't for everyone and it doesn't replace professional therapy and it's important to listen to yourself and your needs. My face is my canvas and I let the creativity and the movement of the brushes help me to release all the negative feelings. Just like a painter let their emotions out on their paintings. There is also a psychological aspect involved in this of course. You have probably heard this before, that when you wear bold colors it will impact your overall mood. And it's the same when it comes to makeup. When you wear colorful makeup it impacts your overall mood. 
Whether you're applying makeup to look prettier or if you're enjoying the creative aspect of it, I think that we all can agree on that we have in common is that we all enjoy the process of applying the makeup. I enjoy that I can push my limits and develop my skills by trying something new. Makeup lets me understand who I am. Makeup is me. If makeup makes you feel happy, there's no reason to stop wearing it. And by the way, did you know that when you do your makeup and touch your skin, you're helping your body to release the hormone oxytocin? It's also known for the love hormone and it makes the body and mind feel relaxed. There is some experts that claims that the body releases dopamine after we are done with the makeup application. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea as I'm not an expert myself, but I know for sure that I feel a lot more happier after applying makeup. That's what matters to me. Let me know about your relationship with makeup. Is it just a fun hobby or is it a lifestyle? Does it make your overall mood improve a lot? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for listening to me. Please consider to subscribe to me if you are interested in indie makeup and colorful makeup in general. Have a great day. Bye bye.